Uh, today's event has been really beneficial. It's an opportunity to bring people from across different industries and sectors in to have a conversation around the challenges and opportunities around hydrogen. So you've got folks from government, industry, academia, investors, and of course, the casual conversations after the fact are where those networking partnerships and relationships that are so important get to take place. I'm really excited today um, to showcase what Edmonton has going on in the community around hydrogen. We've got corporate partners that are expanding their horizon, they're disrupting this space. We've got government, academic institutions, startups, and investors. And that's what we do is bring them all together. I'm really excited to have them here today. It's really great being here at Plug and Play's Hydrogen Innovation Day. Uh, fantastic connecting with uh, industry leaders in this space, in this uh, nascent but, but fast developing space. Well, innovation and collaboration are so important because the reality is these days, if you're a startup trying to grow and scale your business, you're gonna need partnerships along the way. As individuals, we don't have all the answers. It's always good to meet up with other people to get a different perspective, uh, figure out a different angle, try to solve a problem. So it's always great to meet people and collaborate Today's event was fantastic. I think it brought together in Edmonton a lot of the movers, the shakers, and the hydrogen world. I was able to connect with a lot of people, so the personal networking has been fantastic. And I learned a few new things about hydrogen, which was amazing. You know, there's really a limitless supply of, of hydrogen uh, available, uh, you know, with all these different methods out there. And, and of course, the world needs energy, the world needs clean energy. So, you know, combining the two, it just makes just makes good good sense. You know, a lot of us are oil and gas backgrounds. We know oil and gas really well. We have over 100 years of oil and gas production, and by transitioning it to a greener source of energy, we can really build off the back of that knowledge. I hope that several years from now, we can look back at this year in the hydrogen space as a real starting point for transition and evolution into a new energy economy.